Well, summer's on its way, which means it'll soon be time for the Antelope Valley Fair. Each year, the fair is host to a number of top performers performing for crowds of thousands. AAB Fair recently announced their entertainment lineup for this year, which seems to have a little bit of something for everyone. It's that time of year again. Time to reveal highlights and happenings of this year's Antelope Valley Fair and Alfalfa Festival. Beginning a week earlier than in years past, from August 20th through August 30th, organizers expect the AV's premier attraction to welcome people from all over the region. Somewhere between 200 to 250,000 people in those 11 days will grace us here. We're thrilled to have each and every one of them here, and we're going to give them lots of reason to come out. Pull the curtain, pull the curtain. One reason to come out will be the music. This year's concert series will feature a multifaceted roster filled with diversity, nostalgia, and solid family entertainment. Kicking off the concert series this year will be American Idol winner of 2008, David Cook. Others on the bill include Clay Walker and Leanne Womack, funk band War and the Tower of Power, Latin music lovers will enjoy Grammy-winning ensemble Los Tigres del Notre and a tried and true California favorite. Our favorites here in the Antelope Valley, the Beach Boys. As well as Pablo Cruz, country acts scheduled to appear include Keith Anderson, Heidi Newfield, and Jason Michael Carroll. And wrapping up the series will be a favorite of many old school rock fans. Classic hard rock, Foreigner and the Guess Who. In an effort to streamline operation and make sure everyone has a great time, this year organizers have traded in the traditional ride tickets for a ride card that can be loaded and reloaded. Scan that as you're getting out of the ride and it allows the operators to get many, many people through the lines faster so everybody has a better time and it's more convenient. So whether it's the rides, the games or the music, it looks like this year's Antelope Valley Fair will have something for everyone. His TV performing days may be in the past, but Arthur Duncan still knows how to keep a beat. Let's go to Jessica Rosales, our Valley reporter, to hear more about this tap legend story. Jessica. Hey, thanks, Hal. You know, it's almost 27 years later, and Arthur Duncan can still do all the same dance moves that helped rocket him to the top. And as you'll see, when he received his humanitarian award, even with the spotlight on him, he found a way to help others. At 74, Arthur Duncan hasn't missed a single step. He's known as television's King of Tap, a title given to him by Lawrence Welk during his 18-year run on the show. I was the first African-American to be on a show of that, that type on a permanent basis, a musical show. How they determined that, I don't know, but uh, I, I was very surprised, but very pleased as well. Arthur was recently recognized for his career achievements with the Gregory Hines Humanitarian Award. That was quite a thrill to receive the uh, uh, Gregory Hines Humanitarian award, award because I knew Gregory and knew him fairly well and he was the type of person that was always willing to share his success with all the other dancers. Just like Arthur, who helped six inner city kids from the Everybody Dance program to perform by his side at the awards ceremony. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, how great and like how honorable this is and how much I'm gonna have a great time with this. For Arthur, performing in front of a live audience is what truly inspires him to keep the beat alive. For SoCal News, I'm Jessica Rosales. Now, Arthur Duncan is what I like to call a lifelong entertainer. He's still taking the time to perform all across the country. From the San Fernando Valley, I'm Jessica Rosales. And that'll do it for Performing Life. I'm Hal Banfield. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and live your performing life. Take care.